guys, how are you doing today? Um, so a lot of revelations happening. I feel like a lot of the puzzle pieces are coming together. Um, just wanted to make this video to encourage the, the body of Christ, the people waiting on Jesus and looking up every day. Um, we still feel like September is a very, very high watch date. Now, if we get into October, you know, it's important not to lose faith and hope because we know Jesus is coming for his bride. We do know that it is all over scripture. If you truly walk in the spirit, you can see it. Um, but anyway, so remember the Lord kept saying, don't forget about Jubilee. And he also said, don't forget about resurrection. Well, Cassie was finding things um, about this being a Jubilee year. Um, she had saw a video or something. And the guy was talking about um, possibly September 25th being the Jubilee. Now, we don't know if it's for sure the 25th because I was looking at the Jubilee messages. And what's interesting, Jesus speaks, guys. I mean, this is, you just can't make this up. April 30th was a Jubilee message. And then May 30th was a Jubilee message. The chances of that being on the 30th is only God, okay? And I've noticed that with other patterns and prophecies he's given me in messages that they're on the same day, like in different months. And that's just really, really cool. Um, and more confirmations, Jesus. Guys, I really hope you guys are taking everything to Jesus because he truly is speaking and you guys are going to be in a route for awakening. The ones that just keep coming after me and mocking and scoffing and, and just say, I'm not hearing from Jesus. You're, you're, you're about to see a lot of things unfold. Um, because we are wrapping it up in the end, you know, uh, Jesus woke up Cassie last night and she heard rain. And remember he said, first comes rain, then comes war. And Jesus speaks in future. So when he told Cassie that it was going to be her last video, he was speaking in future. So she's going to make some videos explaining all the Jubilee thing. And there's a, a scripture, it's Leviticus 25, 9, you know, which also could be September 25th. Um, today he kept giving um, McKenna, or the last few days, he kept showing her numbers signifying this date today. Now, we don't know what he means by the 21st. We know it's important somehow. Cassie was saying that they discovered that there's um, a chapter in Adam and Eve where there's four days. Um, so we don't know if 21st marks the day and four days is 25th. But remember, the Lord woke me up like a week ago with 7,777 emails. So I keep saying that July had a seven, August had two sevens, and September has seven seven. So I thought maybe it could be on the seventh, on the sixteenth, on the twenty fifth. So I don't know that for sure because the Jubilee messages he wrote was the thirtieth. But do I think September is a very, very likely time for him to come? Yes, I do. Now if it goes past that, I will tell you I had a dream a while ago with Obama wearing a Santa hat. And I woke up with his head on a um, computer screen and it said, this is the Antichrist. So I know for a fact, Obama is the Antichrist and he will rise because everything Jesus is telling me is literally coming true. And all the dates he's spoken literally formulates a pattern. You cannot discount God's ways. They're so much higher than man's ways. And we just don't understand it as human beings. But... The puzzle pieces are coming together. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to read the Jubilee messages and Cassie's going to explain more about all these little things because she's saying the ninth hour actually ends at rapture. And the Lord said he's coming at the end of ninth hour because it all has to do with Jubilee. He said, don't forget about Jubilee. So the April 30th message, I'm not going to read the scriptures. They're already posted if you want to go see on TikTok or YouTube. My child, the sickle tree, will it wither? I hold it in my hand, the mystery revealed but hidden for thousands of years. Do you know why they changed everything? It was to make you doubt me and contemplate my existence. The end is truly near, which is why it's being revealed to you. The rivers, the sea, not only blood, but the temperatures will rise. I told you great big waves are coming. You will see soon. The weather manipulation, paths of destruction, all by my by design to reveal the labor pains following the hour of trial coming on this world. It has been planned and with and written in my word. I've allowed it to commence 
broken. Some of you are so broken and you have followed the riches of this world. You think idols can make you happy and give you peace, but true peace is believing in me and trusting in me. I am the Prince of Peace. The power of persuasion is the enemy's tool. He has cloaked himself into the good one while he corrupts the entire world, promising you abundant wealth while distracting you from pursuing the Father's will. Have you seen the pattern in the train? Where is it near? Where is it close by? What do they all have in common? It's right there. If you will look, you will see. Some of my children, they study my words. Some of them know my words and have learned to walk in the spirit for my truths. They worship me and they pray to me and ask me for discernment. Others search my words. Others search the scriptures and know my words, but they can't see past their own pride that lies in their hearts. They are misguided by their own beliefs and what they have been taught. There has been lies, trickery, and deceit. So much manipulation of my word. The diabolical truths have been formulated and planned. Satan has always been jealous of my creation, so he twists my words and my truths. The gates of heaven are opening. The flower blooms. Remember my holy tree? There's meaning there. Jubilee. Don't forget that. Remember, they have changed it. Okay, and then another little message in the same one. The storm is coming. Big waves. Remember, he woke me up and said the storm is coming. And then he said an Atlantic storm is brewing on the Atlantic. And then someone said that there was a, a asteroid or something coming named Storm on Stellarium. <clears throat> the storm is coming. Big waves, a giant earthquake, several giant earthquakes, the pole shift, electromagnetic pause. It's all coming. Dakota will experience shock waves and lightning strikes. Manhattan fire in the streets, New Jersey bombing, Minnesota train derails. Keep looking up, believe in me and confess I am Lord. I will save you. I love you all and I wish for no one to perish. I'm your Lord God and I have spoken. Then the May 30th message. I'm skipping all the scriptures. My child, drones are coming. They will explain the rapture. The economy is about to collapse. The banks will shut down on a Friday. By Monday, you will have a new system and it will be digital currency. Waves are coming, my child. Great big waves. Two tsunamis will form from a 7.5 earthquake in Ecuador. I told you the ending is here. Seismic activity is coming. After the 7.5 earthquake, there will be four more high magnitude earthquakes destroying cities. Sevenfold. Eight is coming very soon. What do you think these warnings are for? I'm trying to wake you up. My child, believe in me and confess I am Lord. I'm giving you a chance to repent from your wicked ways and believe in me with your hearts. I'm trying to save you. My heart is broken. So much defiance, so much lack of faith. All my words will come to pass. You may not know the timing of these things, but you will know my word is true. The devil is a liar. I am not a liar. Always seek me for discernment. I told you I will reveal it if your heart is in the right place. My judgment will be tenfold. It's not here yet, but it is coming. Why do you think the elite are getting their bunkers ready? They think they can hide from me, but not even underground will save them. I wish for not one to perish. I'm giving you warning after warning so you might believe. Even the elite I wish to save if they would repent, believe in me, and confess I am Lord. My prophets have worked so hard to save you. They have been so obedient and they have done everything I have asked them. Yet you taunt and curse them to their face. You should be ashamed of your wickedness. If you do not repent, you will perish. Every person who truly believes in me will have my spirit and will walk in love. It's okay to correct your neighbor if it comes from love, but make sure you seek discernment from me first. Do not rely on your own understanding. Rely on the Holy Spirit to give you truth. Pray to me to give you truth. Scolding your neighbor and hate is unacceptable and is the fruit of the devil. Gentleness and kindness is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I am weeding out good versus evil. I am sorting the wheat from the tares. I am almost done sorting and you will have destruction fall upon you like a woman in labor. I told you contractions had started. I told you my bride would be delivered soon. Have you started with Revelation 22? There is a reason you keep seeing 22. Have you figured it out yet? There's a reason I keep giving you repeated numbers. Look up the Bible concordances, the Greek and the Hebrew meaning. Stay away from gematria and angel numbers. I'm going to go into part two for TikTok, but I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's God. He comes in the flesh, uh, bled on the cross, rose on the third day, and was born of a virgin. Or for the, what the other people would say, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, bled on the cross, rose on the third day, born of a virgin. I have to do their thing, otherwise they, they taught me. 
But um, ignore the people trying to impersonate my account on YouTube because they're just trying to get your money.